Hey guys, so today I'm here with another brand review and this time it's for the company Old Orchard. I've talked about them a few times. I was initially introduced to the company um, through their facial oil, which I received in one of my babe boxes and I really was impressed with the oil. I post about it a few times on Instagram. Um, I talked about it specifically in my facial oils video. I'm gonna link that down below if you haven't watched that. It's a long one, but um, I did talk about it in there and I really was impressed with the oil. At the time, they did have two other products that were for sale in the shop, but they both had beeswax, so the oil was the only vegan thing. But in a Instagram comment, when I talked about the oil and how I needed a new one soon, Amy, the owner, reached out to me and said that when I ordered, she would send me some samples of the new fall collection that she was working on, which were going to all be vegan, actually. So I was really excited about that, and I went to go place my order. I think like a week later, I ran out of the oil, and I was like, well, I can't be without the oil. So I went and placed an order, and she sent me some samples from her new fall line. She did send me a couple of full-size things, but um, most of them were samples. So I did want to do a dedicated brand review to Old Orchard because I'm really impressed with the company. Amy is a very sweet and lovely person and has just been so amazing. And there was even a problem with some of my samples. They got melted because it was still hot when she sent them first and she, you know, bought some cold packs and sent them again. So that was, you know, really sweet. She totally didn't have to do that, but super sweet. So. A little bit about Old Orchard is they're actually a relatively new company. They've only started selling their products, I believe, since this year. And it's it was early 2015 is when Amy launched her Old Orchard collection. She'd been working on her products for a while, but that was when she launched. So Old Orchard is fine natural skincare products that reveal effortless natural beauty by soothing, hydrating, healing, and comforting. Amy says she was inspired by a blend of ancient wisdom, the naturally perfect ingredients Mother Nature provides, and the science behind the miraculous power to heal and transform. Her products are 100% natural, minimally processed, and contain time-honored ingredients proven to hydrate, heal, and minimize the signs of aging. Her formulations are unique and powerful, yet uncomplicated. She believes fewer ingredients and minimalist, health-promoting formulation are at the heart of truly beneficial skincare. She believes beautiful skin begins with healthy skin, and for this reason, she sources organic ingredients whenever possible. And I do love that. A lot of her products contain mostly organic ingredients, which I think is something that I look for, and I think that's amazing. So she says, women deserve to be educated about what they put on and in their bodies and deserve honesty and transparency from the companies they entrust to beautify and care for their skin. Old Orchard is natural and organic skincare with integrity, purpose, and heart. And you know that I'm all about integrity and honesty and when I could find a company that believes in the exact same things and their messages like my message that I'm trying to give to you guys, I fully support brands that are all about that and want to bring those kinds of brands to you. So the core values are integrity, Honesty is the foundation of all that we do at Old Orchard, and we value truth and the trust of our customers above all else. Quality, our products contain only the highest quality ingredients. Each Old Orchard product is handcrafted, each oil hand bottled, and each package carefully hand assembled here in Mount Vernon, New Hampshire. Efficiency, we produce only the most effective, powerful formulations that beautify by hydrating, healing, soothing, and comforting. And naturally, all our products are 100% natural and we source organic ingredients whenever possible. So everything that she believes in, I believe in. She even mentioned to me in one of her emails to me that she values the honesty that I give in my videos, which it always means so much to me to hear when people tell me that they value my honesty and it's they find it so refreshing that I'm as honest as I am in my videos. So, I mean, that's always special to hear that and I really appreciated that coming from a brand owner specifically. That was really... That was really amazing. So now I'll just get into the products. And I'm gonna start with the one that started it off for me, my love for this company. And, um, and my love has only become like exponentially bigger since she released her new collection because I think all of the products are truly stunning. They're amazing. So for, for one, I love the packaging. I love how cute and ordal, almost sort of like antique-y she makes her her packaging look like the this is the the number one beauty oil this is the oil i bought the full size i only had a little sample before but i bought the full size because i was in love with it i am, am so impressed with this oil but i love the packaging it's all hand packaged like i said when i was talking about the brand and it's just it's it's truly pretty and i love i wanted to save this for you guys because it came wrapped in like a little in another little paper and I didn't undo it yet because I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to show you guys. So this is actually, there's something else in here. So and this is basically just instructions on how to use the oil that it came wrapped in. It says, thank you for choosing Old Orchard. We hope that you will love number one as much as we do. This precious blend of natural oils was designed with all skin types in mind. 
After cleansing, gently massage three to five drops onto face while treating your senses to the er aromatherapeutic oils of citrus, immortelle, and jasmine. So here is the number one beauty oil, which is, I love this oil. This is made with meadow foam seed oil, watermelon seed oil, barrage seed oil, carrot seed oil, rosehip seed oil, castor seed oil, jojoba, immortelle oil, tangerine tangerine oil, sweet orange, and jasmine absolute, and a few of these are actually organic ingredients. But these are all oils that are super amazing for all skin types, like it says it's designed for. This is, I've got oily acne prone skin, which you guys know, and it works amazing for me. It makes my skin feel super hydrated. It doesn't make it break out. It absorbs really quickly. So this says, this is a handcrafted blend of natural oils was formulated to hydrate, heal, and reduce the signs of aging, which I believe that it does. So the full size of this, which is, is this, is $51. And she does also sell um, trial sizes of this on her website too. She sells a smaller version and then a quarter ounce, which is the one that I did have before. So she does sell trial sizes of the oil. I think only the oil is the only trial size she offers on her website. So if you're not sure how it would work for you, you could definitely pick up a sample. I think the quarter ounce sample is only $14, which is a great deal, especially for this oil and the ingredients that it's got in there. They're all super beneficial for all, all skin types. I love carrot seed oil and rosehip seed oil specifically. Meadow foam seed oil is the one like sort of base oil in the, all the oils that I've tried that is the most beneficial for my skin type. And watermelon seed oil is another one that's actually really great for oily and acne prone skin. So there's a lot of really great things in here. And the scent of this is also just, smells so good. It's just so fantastic. It's like citrusy and you could smell the jasmine in there. It just smells really good. So this is what introduced me to the brand. And until she released the fall collection, this was actually the only vegan item she had for sale. Now that I've talked about that, I'm going to go over all the things that she sent me from the fall collection. So I'll start with the body oil. She has a new body oil, which I wanted to, I wanted to use all of this, but I wanted to save some for you so I could see, so you could show, so so I could show you the color. This is the number seven Jasmine and Yuzu body oil. And this is just the, this was just a one ounce sample size. So this says envelop your senses in this exotic elixir of sensual Jasmine blossoms and crisp revitalizing citrus, watermelon seed oil and organic jojoba seed oil nourish, balance and restore, leaving your skin as soft and radiant as a summer sunset. And the full ingredient list of this is watermelon seed oil, organic jojoba seed oil, yuzu essential oil, jasmine absolute, and a tangerine essential oil. So this does sort of have the same smell as the as the the beauty oil, the number one beauty oil, because it's got a lot of the same. It's got the the jasmine and the tangerine. The only difference is this one has yuzu, but you can't smell the yuzu, I think, as much as you can smell the jasmine and tangerine, but I use this today. It absorbs really quickly into the legs, and I really like that. Especially during summer, that's something that you want, because in the summer, I'm wearing shorts, and I don't want to sort of, like, my greasy legs to get rubbed on all over everything before it absorbs, but this absorbs really quickly. It leaves your skin soft all day long. I don't ever have to reapply body oils, and this one, too, is the same way. I never have to reapply it. It's takes about five pumps to get an entire leg, you know, the bottom and the top part of your leg. Um, so five pumps will get you your whole leg and it, it just feels really great and soft and moisturizing. And again, it's got the watermelon seed oil and organic jojoba, which are two really great hydrating ingredients. So I, the full size of this one is actually 3.8 ounces and I believe it's $60. For some reason, that's the only one um, I have that I didn't write down a price for <laughs> but it's I think it's $60 and it's totally worth the price because it's it's just a truly great body oil and especially if you like citrusy jasmine -y scents you'll really like this one so that's the first one so that was her only new body care product I don't know if she's working on any more new body care products, but I would love, I would love some more body oils because I think her formula is amazing. The rest of the items that she released are actually all skincare. So I'm going to start with the cleansers. She released three new cream cleansers, each a different formulation for different skin types. And so I'm going to go over those three. So the first one is the number 14 pure oil cleansing cream. And this one is... 
is just a white creamy oil cleanser. So this says cleanse, balance, and hydrate with this gentle organic oil cleansing cream. This herb infused cleanser dissolves makeup, dirt, and sebum while promoting healing and restoring balance to sensitive skin. A blend of calendula, chickweed, nettles, and turmeric soothes, calms, and helps to alleviate irritation. This cleanser is safe and effective for all skin types using gentle yet powerful natural oils and herbs to restore a healthy complexion. So this one, the full ingredient list is organic shea butter, organic sunflower seed oil infused with organic calendula, chickweed, nettles, and wildcrafted turmeric, and then organic castor seed oil. So this one is a mostly organic product with wildcrafted turmeric in here too, which I think is amazing. I love when companies include wildcrafted ingredients. I just think it makes it so much more special to know that it's, I just think it makes it that much more special. So this one specifically is designed more for sensitive skin because there is no discernible smell in this one. It just sort of smells like maybe the shea butter, but it doesn't really smell like anything. So I think this will be great if you have an issue with fragrance or essential oils or things like that, because this is just, it's simply pure. The full size of this is two ounces and it's $25, which I think is great for an oil cream cleanser. And I actually really like the formula of this. I do love cleansing oils, but I actually really like this specifically, the, the cleansing cream that she created. There's three of them, like I said. I really like how soothing and gentle they are. So to use this, it actually says this is a multitasking product. It can be used as a cleanser, moisturizer, leave-in hair treatment. It says one jar replaces facial cleanser, facial moisturizer, hand cream, body butter, and conditioning styling cream. I've only ever used it to remove my makeup. I haven't used it for any of the other things. Maybe I'll try a leave-in hair treatment. That might actually be really nice. Um, but to use this, you want to massage a small amount into your face using circular motions for two, for two minutes. Steam your pores open by laying a hot cloth across face. Gently wipe away the cleanser with your cloth and warm water for one minute. Repeat with cool water for an additional minute, pat dry, and then use toner and moisturizer and all that stuff. So I actually liked, the way that I like to do my oil cleansers, it's probably, I, don't, I might be the only one who does this, but I like to put on the oil cleanser, massage it in my skin until I feel like I've broken down all the oils or makeup or whatever's on my face, and then I sort of like to leave it there, like for five minutes, for 20 minutes, almost like an oil face mask. It might be kind of gross because I'm like leaving all my makeup and stuff on at the same time, but I don't know. I, I like to take a long time with my nighttime routines and, and actually just really kind of like the sensation that it gives to just like leave oil on my face and just let it, and just, I feel like it's sort of adding extra hydration to my skin before I rinse it off. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm probably the only person who does that, but that's what I like to do. I like to rub it in, leave it on, and then take the hot washcloth and remove it. And it's really easy to remove. My skin just feels super soft and hydrated after I take this off of any of the three formulas. I really love the way that my skin feels after I've used them all. It just feels super nice. So this is the one for sensitive skin. So this is the number 14. So then there's the number 15, which is the chamomile oil cleansing cream. This one is $31 for the two ounce size. And I'll just show you um, what the two ounce size is. So this is the full size, the full two ounce size of what the, the cream cleanser will come in. And this is just the little sample that I got. So do so you reference how big the full size is? So like I said, this one's $31. And the difference in this one is this is a gentle daily exfoliating oil cleanser, deeply cleans and unclogs pores for a beautiful smooth complexion. So it has the same calendula, chickweed, nettles, and turmeric. And then it also includes chamomile powder to gently buff and reveal soft, radiant skin. Essential oils of jasmine and yuzu awaken, refresh mind and body. So it has the same base ingredients that the that the fragrance free one, the number 14 one has, but then it also includes the chamomile and the two essential oils to help sort of scent it. I don't really smell the essential oils so much. I even really feel like for this one, if you have really sensitive skin or have an issue with fragrance, this one still might even be a really good one for you because it's not heavily scented. Like the, the essential oils just must be so minimal. I really feel like I can only smell the chamomile, honestly. And I really like this one because so this one has a different texture. It's a little bit grittier because it's got the pow the chamomile powder in it. And I actually really like that because it helps exfoliate the skin at the same time as cleansing it. And I do the same thing with this one. I will rub it all over my skin until I feel like I've broken down the oils and the makeup and then I'll just leave it sitting on my skin and then I will use the washcloth and rinse it off. So I really like both of these. Probably I prefer this one to the number 14 just because I don't have an issue with fragrance and I do have skin that tends to need more exfoliating. So depending on your skin type, um, it will depend which one of these will work the best for you. But I do prefer this one over the number 14, but I love them both. So, 
but my favorite one of the three. <laughs> this is the one I prefer over the other two, but I, again, I'll use all three because I love all three, but this one is my favorite because it's geared more towards my specific skin type. So this is the number 16. This is the turmeric oil cleansing cream. The full size of this one is this, the, the two ounce size, and it's $36. So this one is an exfoliating oil cleanser that is ideal for acne prone and oily skin. Turmeric gently yet effectively treats acne, redness, and scarring without causing dryness and irritation. A powerful antibacteria, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant, turmeric benefits all skin types by restoring balance, helping to even skin tone, and preventing the signs of aging. So there's a note here. Because you can see this one is a different color than the other ones. This one actually has the yellow color of turmeric than the other ones do. This one says the wildcrafted turmeric used in this cleanser will not stain skin but may stain washcloths or clothing. So that's the only thing to think about if you get this one is that it could stain anything that you use with it. But I don't really mind, like I only use washcloths that are sort of like raggedy or I use specifically just for oil cleansing and stuff like that. So I have specific towels that I use for oil cleansing that I don't mind getting stained with makeup and stuff, but I haven't really found that this even stains like, it'll show that your cloths are yellow, but as soon as I wash them, they just turn white again. So I don't really think that this staining is an issue, but it will make them yellow until you wash them. Which I guess is something to think about. So. This one you use the same way, and I do the same way. Last night I left this one on for about 20 minutes. This is the one I used yesterday, um, because this one is my favorite and geared more towards my skin type. I rubbed it all on, left it on for 20 minutes, and then like sort of just went off and watched some YouTube or did some random things, and then I, I rinsed it off. So this one has the same base ingredients that the number 14 does, but this one I think just has a higher concentration of the turmeric, because the other two also have the turmeric in it, but it's doesn't make those ones yellow, so I think the concentration of the turmeric in here is a lot higher. And then it also has the uh, yuzu essential oil. Doesn't have, this one doesn't have jasmine, just the yuzu. But like I said, this one is my favorite because I feel like it does a really good job for my specific skin type. And anything that can help heal acne and inflammation and scarring and that kind of thing is I'm all about. So if you really like to use turmeric in your skincare, this is something that you might want to look into. And especially if you like oil cleansing, this is a really great one because it does melt and turn into an oil when it's on your skin. It just is sort of like in a whipped cream form. I really like these. Again, this one is my favorite and I would recommend these to everybody. So there's those. Those are the three cream cleansers that she came out with. So there are two other facial products that she also released and one is a face mask which you guys know I'm obsessed with. This is the number five passion fruit and hibiscus pebble max. Pebble mask. <laughs> um, this the full size of this is 1.4 ounces. It comes in that same the same size jar as the cream cleanser comes in, but there's obviously less product in here because it's a different consistency. Um, but the amount of product that's in here is 1.4 grams, and it's $38. And this one is definitely something that I haven't seen before. It's totally different from any face mask that I've ever used. It's as you can see, it is. It's like pebbles. I just dropped one. I'll have a close-up of it too. I did take a video of it. But this is so unique and so different. I have used this quite a few times. I think I've used this four times. I did use this again last night because I was sort of preparing for this, this review. So this is a precious flower blossoms and gentle white clay are suspended in pebbles of nutrient-rich passion fruit seed oil for softer, smoother, younger looking skin. So the passion fruit seed oil contains high levels of vitamin A known to promote known to promote collagen production and prevent fine lines, wrinkles, and sun damage. The hibiscus, which you guys know is like one of my favorite ingredients. I love the hibiscus face mask from SW Basics. And if you love that, you're gonna love this too because this one has even more amazing beneficial skin ingredients than that one does. This is known again as the Botox plant. It helps to firm lift and improve elasticity and contains alpha hydroxy acids to improve the appearance of scars and dark spots. And then cornflower, which gives it the blue color. As you can see, it's sort of more blue here than red, which the other mask is. It cools, soothes, and contains high levels of antioxidants known to reduce the signs of aging. So this one, the full ingredient list is kale and clay, organic hibiscus flowers, organic corn flutter, corn flower petals, organic calendula flowers, passion fruit seed oil, and tangerine essential oils. So again, this just has a really amazing sort of like citrusy scent. And the way that you want to use this is to like mix a few of the pebbles. I think I took like about a spoon and a half full of the pebbles and then you want to mash them in the bowl with some water until it turns like a smooth pink. It'll turn like a pink liquid color. 
So the first time I use this, I usually like to use my fingers for face masks because I find that that's sort of how I get the best application. Um, but the first time I used it, I when I was washing my hands, I realized my fingers had been stained blue. <laughs> um, it didn't stain my skin, which I found odd, but it stained it stained my fingers. So the next time that I used it, and every time after that, I've used a flat foundation brush to apply it, which actually works really well as well, and it keeps my fingers from staining. So. I, like I did say, it didn't stain my skin blue. The only thing I'll note about this is that if you've got any dry spots or flaky skin or healing acne or something like that, um, it will get sort of like in the healing, like the, the scabs, and it will stain the scabs. That's the only thing that I've noticed about this that um, makes me not use it as much as I would like to because I tend to always have acne, and I love this face mask, but... Um, if I'm going anywhere for the next, like, three days, I'll have, like, dark. Um, you probably can't see it, but I did use this last night, and there are a couple of spots on my face that have been sort of stained by the mask. So I have, like, a spot up here, um, and then some of the spots down here. And th so that's the only thing. That's the only th only thing to think about is if you've got acne prone skin and you're constantly you've you've got like scabs that just might be the only thing to consider when using this face mask. I'm still going to use it and I'm still going to keep repurchasing it because I love the way it makes my skin feel. My skin is so soft when I take this off. It just it feels soothed and hydrated. So if you like the SW Basics Hibiscus Mask, that one is more intense and it's more drying. The effects of that one are better at reducing oiliness. This was this one is better at hydrating and soothing the skin. So I do really like this one. I would keep both in my repertoire. One for sort of like more oily skin days, one for days when I need more moisture because I don't have a lot of moisture masks and this one is a great one. So again, I really love this. It smells really good and it works really well. Just the only thing to think about is the issue with staining it could have if you've got any scabs or anything like that. But I never let anything like that stop me. It's just something to consider. So the last thing that I have here is actually my favorite thing. Um, it was hard picking a favorite from all of the things that are here, but I really am super impressed with this product specifically. And this is the number nine, Nine Herb Beauty Balm. The full size of this, it comes in a one ounce jar and it's $65. And let me show you. So it's just a, it's a balm. So this says, prepare mind, body, and soul for restorative beauty sleep. This aromatherapeutic beauty balm promotes a state of blissful tranquility while an infusion of nine time-honored botanicals renew, repair, and illuminate a healthy, gorgeous complexion. Inspired by the Nine Herb Charm, a 10th century poem and herbal remedy, Number Nine Beauty Balm combines the concentrated healing power of nine organic and wildcrafted herbs while deeply nourishing oils and butters for a radiant complexion. Cocoa butter and babusa oil restore moisture, soften, and improve elasticity of dry, damaged, or inflamed skin. Camellia seed oil calms and balances, while essential oils of lavender, frankincense, and clary sage promote deep relaxation. So it says, this handcrafted creamy balm melts into a soothing facial oil on contact. Melt a pea-sized amount of balm between fingers or hands and pat onto cleansed, slightly damp face, neck, and decollete. Massage any excess into hands and cuticles. So the full ingredient list of this one is cocoa butter, Cocum butter, organic babasu oil infused with wildcrafted turmeric, organic nettles, organic chamomile, organic calendula, organic rosemary, organic lavender, organic heliochrysum, organic plantain leaf, and organic hibiscus, and organic hibiscus, organic chamomile seed oil, essential oils of organic lavender, frankincense, and clary sage. This one has a lot of really great organic ingredients in here, as you could, as you heard. Um, so like I said, this one is probably my favorite of all of the things that she recently created. I just, I find that this balm is so amazing, especially for me. I like to use this actually after my oil. So I'll, so, so if I were using all Old Orchard products, I would remove my makeup with the cleansing, or the cleansing balm, and then after that I would use the face mask, I would rinse that off, and then I would spritz my face with a toner, which she doesn't have any toners, but I'd love to see her come out with a toner. Um, if she does, I, that would be amazing. But um, I would, I'll spritz my face with a toner and then I'll put on six drops of the oil and as that's still sort of like sinking into my skin, I'll take a nice little pea-sized amount of this, rub it between my fingers, and then I will pat that into my skin on top of the oil and then I'll spritz my face with some more toner to sort of like lock in the moisture and like have that all seal in. So 
I love this. This has not... I always worry about products that I try for the first time because I'm always worried something's going to break me out. My skin has never broken out from this. It just makes my skin feel so soft and amazing in the morning. My skin just feels great after I've used all of her products. They're just... They promote so many things that my skin needs, like healing and inflammation, like reducing inflammation and anti-aging. They just work so well for my skin type, and I've just been so super impressed with all of the products that she came out with in the fall line. And I actually have a surprise for you. If you've made it to the end of this video, I actually have collaborated with Amy, not only to bring you this review, but to bring you a giveaway from what my favorite product from the entire collection was, and that's actually the full size of the Beauty Balm. I don't even have a full size of the Beauty Balm, so you guys will get that before I do. Um, but I do have a sample I need to finish up. But, so like I said, we're going to be giving away one of the Beauty Bombs to you guys, which is an amazing product. So the giveaway is going to work a little bit differently this time. There are going to be a few ways that you can enter for multiple entries. Um, one, it'll be to be subscribed to my channel. Go sign up for the newsletter on Amy's website. I'll leave the link to the website down below so you can sign up for the newsletter. But she's going to be sending me all of the entries of the people who sign up for the newsletter, so definitely go do that. So like the video and then leave me a comment down below letting me know that you have <laughs> signed up for the newsletter. And Jesse says make sure that you do. You have to go sign up for the newsletter to be entered. Um, then there's going to be a way to get a second entry on... Instagram, I'm going to post a photo, and if you repost the photo and are following both me and Old Orchard, you will get a second entry. So there are a couple of ways that you can enter to make sure that you get multiple entries, but you will want to be entered to this so you can get the bomb because the bomb is fantastic. I love it. Um, I will be picking up a full size of it once I'm out of the sample. She actually sent me two samples, so once I've gotten um, through the two samples that I've gotten, I'll actually be picking up a full size. But I think that all of the products that she has to offer are something that everybody should check out because I think they're all amazing, especially for all different kinds of skin types. They're all handcrafted, they're organic, they're really great minimal ingredients, and the ingredients that she has in her products are really great for your skin. I'm just, I'm really supportive of Old Orchard as a whole. I really love the company and the brand and um, the packaging. I just, it's all, it just feels really personal and I love that about the company. Especially since Amy does it all herself, as far as I know. I don't know if it's gotten big enough that she has people helping her, but I she does a lot of it herself, if not all of it. But that is everything I have for you today. Go check out Old Orchard and everything that they have to offer. I do think she's also working on some other stuff. She did mention a, a prickly pear-based oil that she's working on for the winter, and I'm so excited for that because you guys know that prickly pear is one of my favorite skincare ingredients, so I cannot wait for that to come out and to see what else she has to come out with. She did also mention to me that... Um, She's working on making her entire line vegan, so either reformulating or removing the two products that she's got. I'm not sure what her plans are for that, but she did say she's working towards an all-vegan line, which, of course, to me, you guys know that I'm all about because I love finding all-vegan brands, and even brands that have non-vegan products, I still love supporting the vegan products that they have. So go check out Old Orchard, go follow her on Instagram, sign up for the giveaway, just all the things, just go do all the things, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.